What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Risk Coin Buster video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a $2 million buy-in. They only gave us one quarter for $2 million. So I think we should put that quarter like right there in the center area. Come on, nice push. Oh yeah, a couple quarters fell down the lower shelf. Nice, we got like 15 quarters back or so. That is amazing. Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. Look at all these quarters we got now. That is outstanding right there. So let's try some quarters on that right hand side. I'm going to try to get as many quarters back as possible before we start trying to win the towers and stuff. There's lots of quarters on the edge, especially over there on that right side. Nice. That was a fabulous push. Oh yeah, that was a brilliant push right there in the center and on the right side. Now let's try to get some of these quarters that are on the left hand side there. Nice. That was a good push also. So they got it loaded up pretty good today. I'll explain what all they have in there after I go down there and retrieve the quarters. All right, well that right there was the last of the quarters. So let's go down there and retrieve the quarters. We'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, A and V coin brusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So we got about 118 quarters back on that previous round. So anyhow, they got it loaded up really, really well today. There's like a massive tower of five and ten thousand dollar chips back there on the pusher. And an enormous tower of gold right there in the center. And a quarter pyramid on the lower shelf with a gold tower. Oh my goodness, nice. We got that tower, $10,000 chips to go. Nice, we got that brown mystery bag. There's like four mystery bags in there today. Nice, we done got that brown one. And there's a purple one on the left corner there. Red one back there on that tower. And a pink one on that tower on the right. And it looks like they got like two stacks of $100 bills in there today, so might be able to win those later on. We'll see. We'll see how the game goes. And anyhow, I think there's 10 grand in each one of those stacks of $100 bills. So that's some pretty good money right there, especially considering the buy-in. So anyhow, that right there was the last of the quarters. So let's go round up the quarters and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, A and B coin busher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So that previous round was a massive success. We made a tremendous amount of money. I think we made a little over 1.1 million dollars in chips. Well, it was something around that. So that's over half of our buying back already. That is absolutely phenomenal. Nice, we got that tower, 5,000 dollar chips to go, and it demolished both of those towers that was on the left. Really, really hoping whenever that gold tower falls down, it will destroy this quarter tower and that gold tower right here. Oh yeah, there it goes. We're about to get that gold tower. Nice, but we got the one in the center on the lower shelf. Now we just got to get that one on the back shelf back there. Oh yeah, getting tons of five and ten thousand dollar chips. It's pushing really, really well today. And we got that brown mystery bag also. So I will open up that mystery bag after we win all this stuff out of here. Hopefully that uh, $5 chip is in there today. That way we can cash it in and we'll take all that stuff that's on the blue shelves and we'll put it into the play field. If not, if that $5 chip is not in there, then it would cost me two times the original buy-in to get them to move them towers to the play field. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters. So let's go retrieve those quarters and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it going. So let's keep it pushing right there in the center and try to get that enormous tower of gold to crash down. And I'm also hoping we can get that quarter tower right there in the center to go. Well, it's moving forward pretty well. And it looks like that purple mystery bag is stuck against the glass on the left hand side. And I think that is uh, blocking those gold bars from falling down. Oh my goodness, that quarter tower is super, super close. Nice, that was a fabulous push right there. Let's go ahead and use that skill stop button. Let's just put all these remaining quarters that I have left in the bowl in there at one time. Try to get an enormous push and a large base of quarters built up behind that massive tower. Alright, well, let's see what that does. Hopefully we can get a good push. Come on, big money. Yeah, I just can't believe that uh, quarter tower right there in the center is still standing there. That's insane. Alright, well we only got a couple quarters left. Get them in there. 
Nice, we got that quarter tower. That's what I'm talking about. That was probably like two or three or four hundred quarters right there. Not bad, not bad at all. So let's go see how much money we've made, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it going. Let's try to get this massive tower of gold to crash down. And if we can't get those uh, gold bars and those $5,000 chips on the left, I'll probably call them back here to see if they'll take out that mystery bag that's on the left-hand side there because it's stuck against the glass. And typically, if there's anything stuck against the glass, they will either count it as a win or just rearrange that item and put it back into the machine in a different location or something. So, But most of the time, if something is stuck like down in the loot chute, like that mystery bag, they will just uh, go ahead and count it as a win. Oh my goodness. Wow, we got that humongous tower gold to crash down. That's what I'm talking about. So, speaking of the gold bars, they're worth whatever one ounce of gold is at the moment. Pretty sure they're around like $1,850 an ounce. Well, that's what the spot price of gold was worth yesterday anyway. If somebody can let me know the exact spot price of a one ounce gold bar down in the comments section, I would highly appreciate that. Just uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what a one ounce gold bar is worth. And this was a super, super cheap game compared to normal. Here lately we've been doing like 10 million dollar buy-ins all the way up to 150 million dollar buy-ins. But today they wanted me to pay uh, 2 million dollars for one quarter. And I was like, yeah we'll try that, why not? And I know a lot of y'all said you've been wanting to see like a 1 million dollar buy-in or a 2 million dollar buy-in. So this is your video right here. And this is actually the first game I played today. so. We can get a winning video on this one. I think I'm gonna take the rest of the day off. I'll just quit while I'm ahead if I make a profit on this game right here. Oh my goodness, well, we've already made a profit. Actually, we've made like 2.3 million in chips, I believe. Something around that anyway. So we're already in the money today. That is spectacular. So anything we win from here on out is pure profit. And we got two mystery bags to open so far. And there's all those $100 bills, $1,000 chip towers, and uh, mystery bags back there also. So anyhow, I think we're going to go ahead and call it quits right there. And anyhow, let's go ahead and check out both of those mystery bags. Alright, here's those mystery bags. So let's see, which one should I start with? I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the brown mystery bag first. Let's go ahead and check it out, see if there's anything nice and valuable in there. Feels like it's loaded up pretty good, so let's see what we get. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got a white dice, the $5 chip, and the $1 chip. So like I said earlier, we get to cash in this $5 chip. They'll take all those towers and stuff that's on the blue shelves, and they'll put them into the play field somewhere. And this $1 chip, this is worth 500 free quarters, so I get to cash this in. They'll give me an extra 500 quarters. And this white dice, I get to roll this at the end of the game, whatever it lands on. My winnings will multiply by that number. That is absolutely phenomenal. That Mr. Bag was loaded up really, really well. So now let's go ahead and move on to this uh, purple Mr. Bag. Feels like it's loaded up pretty good, so let's see what we get. Oh my gosh, nice. Check this out. We got two of the gold dice. If you don't know what the gold dice are for, I get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, the gold bars will multiply by those numbers. That is excellent right there. Both of the Mr. Bags were loaded up really, really well. So anyhow, let's go ahead and cash in that $5 chip and that $1 chip, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, Andy Coinbrusher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $5 chip. They took all that stuff that was on the blue shelves. And they put it all into the play field. Looks like they took those $1,000 chip towers and those stacks of $100 bills and put them right there in the center. And they took those two massive towers of gold with the mystery bags. And they put those back there on the pusher. So everything seems like it's in a pretty good spot. Hopefully we can get it all out of there pretty quick. And one thing I have noticed about this game today... That uh, $10 chip and $50 chip was not in there. So pretty much that $10 chip, that would have been worth one free tower. I'd have got to spin a wheel. And the wheel has all these different types of chip values on there. And whatever that wheel lands on, it's what type of brand new tower they would have built somewhere in the play field. But no sign of that $10 chip today. And the $50 chip, I would have got to cash that in at the end of the game. They'd take everything 
that has fallen down those side slots and they would put it back into the play field. But again, no sign of that chip today either. So, however, there's still two mystery bags in there. There's a pink mystery bag on the right. And uh, have we done got that red mystery bag? I believe so. That is spectacular. So, we still got two more chances of getting those special chips. But normally, those, uh, normally the $10 chip and the $50 chip would be in the same mystery bag as the $5 chip and the $1 chip and stuff. So. But one thing I have noticed, it seems like on the low buy-in games, like $100,000 buy-ins, $1 million, $2 million, $3 million buy-ins, the special chips aren't in there as often as they would be if you did like a $10 million or $20 million buy-in. So anyhow, that right there was the last of the quarters, and that loot chute is severely clogged up. I think those stacks of cash are stuck in there. So let's try to get that loot shoot emptied out, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. So before we continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and check out this red mystery bag right here. So hopefully that $50 chip and $10 chip is in there. We got two more chances of getting it. Well, we didn't get the $10 or the $50 chip, but we got two more gold dice. That is absolutely remarkable. Yeah, it might be a massive win for the gold today, that's for sure. Yeah, I'd say there was every bit of like 80, anywhere from 80 to 100 ounces of gold in there. So, definitely going to get a whole bunch of gold today. Nice, we got that pink mystery bag on the right. That one seems like it has something pretty heavy in it. It slid down the loot chute pretty quick. So, we'll check out that mystery bag here in just a second. Won't be long, we'll have the whole entire machine cleared out. There's really not that much left in there to win. Nice, we got all that gold right there. So anyhow, hope y'all are doing good and having a wonderful day so far. Remember, if this is your first time watching my channel and you're enjoying these videos, do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. It will help out tremendously. We're on the road to 135,000 subscribers. My goal is to get there by the 15th of this month, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also, let's try to get uh, 3,000 likes on this video today. 3,000 likes. I know we can accomplish that. Just need everyone watching to hit that like button. Well, anyhow, looks like there's only one more gold bar left in there to win. And it looks like there's a gold bar stuck in the gutter on the left side also. So I don't think we're going to be able to get that today, unfortunately. It's right there about to go. Come on, big money. Nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely remarkable. This has been an outstanding game today. Absolutely outstanding. So now let's go ahead and check out that pink mystery bag. All right, here it is. Let's go ahead and check it out, see if there's anything nice and valuable in there. Feels like it's loaded up decently well. Nice, check this out. So we got two more white dice. That is absolutely incredible right there. So no $50 chip or $10 chip today, unfortunately, but this should still be a pretty good win. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and call them back here. I think we've won seven dice in total. We got four of the gold dice and three of the white dice. They will put all seven of them dice back there on the pusher, and we have to roll them on down to that play field area. Whatever they land on, we get to multiply our winnings and our goal by those numbers. So let's call them over here. We'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's keep it going. So I called them over here. They put all seven of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they all win on some miraculous numbers today. And uh, keep in mind, if any of them dice lands on a one, it would be a zero. The ones do not count at all. So if it lands on a one, just pretend they don't exist. But we got a six on that first white dice. That is amazing. Nice. Well, that other dice landed on a six, but it flipped over to a three. That's still pretty good. That's like nine times our winnings right there. All right, well, we got four more dice to roll. Oh, yeah, nice. So we're definitely going to keep it at that right there. All them dice landed on some really, really nice numbers. So I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our goal by all that, and I'll let y'all know how much money we've made from a $2 million buy-in. Be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely outstanding. I ended up winning $2,421,000 in chips, and all those white dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by 11. And in total, I ended up winning 
$631,000 from a $2 million buy and that is absolutely remarkable. That's a massive win today for sure, especially since the buy-in was only $2 million. That is amazing. And on top of that, we also won 103 ounces of gold and all the gold dice combined. Ended up multiplying the gold by 16. And in total, I ended up winning 1,648 ounces of gold today. And those are around like $1,850 an ounce. So that means we got an extra $3 million forty-eight thousand and eight hundred dollars in gold today that is absolutely marvelous right there so that's not bad not bad at all for a two million dollar buy-in so if y'all enjoyed today's episode be sure you hit that like button subscribe and turn on the post bell notifications that way you get notified for whenever i upload a brand new video also if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos that will appear on the right hand side of the screen and if you want to check out yesterday's video, the previous video, that will appear on the left-hand side of the screen. And if you want to subscribe to my channel and watch older videos, you can click that button up top there. So anyhow, we'll see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care and have an awesome day.